What's up guys, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm gonna give you the 5 best glitch transition that you're gonna use in your music videos, in your gaming videos and as well as in your vlogs. It is in format of preset, it means you cannot need any specific version of Premiere Pro to use this transition, it is absolutely free. I put the link in the description, you can also check it out and go to my website, there you can get a lot of the free stuff as well. So without further any ado, let's jump into the video and let's see how we can use this transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. So here we are right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. First thing you have to be do is to import your preset. For that just go to effects in a preset folder just right click and now select import preset. Now select your preset and press open and after a few seconds it will automatically appear in your effects folder. One thing I want to clear this transition is working with a same resolution footage. It means if you want to use this transition keep it in mind both of the footage have a same resolution then it's work correctly so we have a different five folders right there so now it's time to use this transition I'm just go to project and create a new adjustment layer now drop this on our timeline above our footage now keep it in mind this transitions are working with 10 frames per second it's mean five frames on each side if you want to increase the duration of your transition you can also increase the size of adjustment layer or if you want to decrease the size of your transition you can also decrease is the size of adjustment layer so now we have to create our adjustment layer with five frames on each side for that I'm just hold shift and right arrow key and here is the five frames on right side so now I have to make a cut right there I'm just press ctrl K to make a cut right there and delete our extra adjustment here now I move back and now I'm just hold shift and left arrow key and here is the five frames on left side as well. Make a cut right there by press control K and now delete our extra adjustment layer. So here we have a 10 frame per second adjustment layer right there. So now just go back to effects. So here we have a two different files right there. For using this I just make a cut at the very mid of our adjustment layer. Here is the five frames on left side and here is the five frames on right side. I mentioned the files that you drop this on the adjustment layer. So this file is for right side adjustment layer. So I'm just drop this on our right adjustment layer and this file is for our left adjustment layer so i'm just drop this on our left adjustment layer now let's take a look so yeah as you can see our transition is working perfectly so one thing i want to clear some of the folder just contain a one file as you can see this contain a two different file so you need a two different adjustment layer like you need a five frame each side adjustment layer but in a folder four as you can see it just contain a one file so for that you don't need any two adjustment layer just make it like uh, edits join with through edits and remove our attributes so here we have a one adjustment layer that have a 10 frame per second adjustment layer so I'm just drop this on our adjustment layer this file is just working with a one adjustment layer that contain the 10 frame per second so yeah it's working correctly so yeah here is the correct way to use this transition keep it in mind to use this transition with the same resolution footage if you cannot use the same resolution footage it cannot work correctly and giving you some error so yeah here is the video of today i hope you like this video if you like this video give me a big thumbs up and subscribe this channel and comment below if you have any question about this video or any other video let me know in the comment section i will try my best to answer your question thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in the next one